everyone and welcome to my new doll repaint video and today guys I'm going to continue working on my Halloween special dolls I've already made Lydia from Beetlejuice in my last video and I don't know I think she turned out so beautiful such a mix of kind of darkness and uh, sort of sweet innocence and my mom also made an absolutely stunning red wedding dress for my Lydia so I'm really proud of my version of this doll if you haven't watched it yet please here is the link check it out there and today guys I'm going to make a Maleficent doll because Maleficent uh, has been on my list literally for seven years since the very beginning of my channel since the very 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 beginning I've been thinking about creating my version of Maleficent and today is finally the day I think I will combine different features of different versions of Maleficent in my doll. Some things I will take from the classic Disney animation version. Some things I will borrow a little bit from the most recent Angelina Jolie version of this character. And in the end, hopefully, I will end up with my version, with my interpretation of Maleficent. So, let's keep this intro very short. Let's start working. Of course, guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. I upload new doll makeovers or every week Friday or every second week Friday, depends on how big the project is. And of course, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your like. So, and this being said, let's start working. As a model for this makeover, I will use this beautiful headless head mistress doll. I think she has a perfect face to become a Maleficent with all these very prominent cheekbones. I think she has a perfect face structure. So let's quickly prepare her as usually. Let's undress this doll. Let's cut her hair off, disconnect the head from the body and then we'll remove her face with pure acetone. It's very easy, by the way, to remove her head because, you know, she's a headless character and she doesn't have this very deep anchor holding her head on the body. There is just this tiny ball instead holding the head on the body, so it's very easy to disconnect them. Okay, everything is gone, now I can seal her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I can start drawing her face. You know, I will not add any prosthetics to her cheeks because all these added elements make doll faces very fragile, in my experience. You know, Mr. Super Clear starts to crack around the areas where the extra things are attached to the soft rubber. I don't know, it's always a trouble. So I will try to create an illusion of these very big cheekbones using soft pastels and watercolor pencils. And for the rest, her skin tone should be very pale and kind the earthy, like the opposite of a pinkish and healthy skin tone of Cinderella. Uh, then I want to give her piercing green eyes and of course big and very sensitive red lips.
after I'm done with her face, I quickly blush her body and after this I will create this iconic headpiece with horns. Really, cannot wait. <laughs> I will use different types of warbler for the headpiece and I will start with casting the doll's head using this warbler cobra cast thermoplastic. You can see it has kind of a net structure so after I warm it up with a hair dryer I can stretch the thermoplastic and I can wrap it around different objects, the doll head in this situation, casting the shape of the object. I've got some folds here on the back, I don't know, I could have probably done it a little bit better, but it will all be covered very soon, so I don't really care about these folds. So now let's make two horns out of regular warbler thermoplastic and then I will attach them to the base of our future headpiece. Beautiful. Now I'm going to take some tissue paper and I will glue it to the headpiece to create this wrinkly texture.
and then I'm letting it dry. Oh guys, really, this construction took extremely long time to dry. I'm talking about like full five days of drying. But now I think it's finally ready to get painted and I'm first covering it with a couple of layers of black acrylics to start. Then I'm decorating this front peak piece with these tiny black balls. And after this I'm covering the whole thing with glossy acrylic varnish. The next day I can finally put this thing on the doll's head and I think it looks absolutely amazing, really. It took me literally a week to make because of this very long drying period, but I think it looks very pretty, very realistic. This shining black texture looks absolutely amazing to me, so I'm very, 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 very happy about this headpiece. So now I think we can move on to her outfit and I'm going to use this gorgeous leather-like fabric for it. I think it will be absolutely perfect for her dress. You can see I've already prepared all the details, so now I can connect them together. And of course I want this dress to be super gothic looking. I wanted to have very wide sleeves, a very deep cut on the front and a long black skirt. So this is what I'm making. This is what I've ended up making so far, check it out, I think it looks already really good, very stylish, very dark, very happy about it, but I still want to make these things, I don't even know how to call them, those spiky petals kind on her shoulders, so I will make them out of Warbler thermoplastic, glue them to the dress and paint them to make them more shiny. done guys check it out I think it looks absolutely beautiful I'm very happy with her outfit you know I still want to add this lace choker to her neck and you can see I've also added this dark bronze chain so now I think she looks finished 
Now we need some pair of boots that would go with this dress and I think I will customize this pair of monster high shoes. I really like these claw looking heels, absolutely perfect for Maleficent. So I think I want to cover them with tissue paper, the same like we've done to her headpiece, to create a very similar wrinkly texture. Then I will paint them black and then I will decorate them with chains as well. That's the plan for the shoes. Here are the finished boots, guys. I know they will be forever hidden under her dress, but we know that they're there and we know that they look really good. So, now I still want to make magic stuff and I'm going to start with making a glow-in-the-dark orb. I've prepared a silicone mold here to make a bowl. Uh, I've also prepared glow-in-the-dark glitter and UV resin. So the goal is to mix the glitter with the resin inside of this silicone mold bowl and then I will cure it under UV lights. So let's go, let's make it. Well guys, strangely enough, getting the finished ball out of the silicone mold appeared to be the most difficult part of the job. And the end result looks absolutely amazing, just check it out. And it looks especially amazing, of course, in the dark, really guys, check it out, pure magic. So now I need to build the rest of the stuff around it. Maleficent stuff has kind of claws holding this green orb, so I will try to make it out of warble thermoplastic as well. really fun I think look this ball is moving inside so really beautiful absolutely perfect so now I will attach a stick to this thing and then I will cover the stuff with tissue paper to give it some beautiful texture
And after this I can paint it. First I'm covering it with a couple of layers of black acrylics and then I do a layer of bronze acrylics. This is how the finished stuff looks. I think it's absolutely perfect both in the daylight and in the dark, but in the dark it's more magical of course, very beautiful, I'm really a fan of it. So guys, I was going to say that we were done and that here like the end result <laughs> pictures and everything, but then I've got a crazy idea in my head, like I mean this hat piece is beautiful, but it's always more fun when a doll has both hair and also some hat decorations at the same time. So about 36 hours before posting this video online, I've decided to make a wig for her. I know, it's an absolutely crazy idea, it's way too late for anything like this, but here we go again, boys and girls, making a cap out of Warbler Cobra cast, and by the way, I've done it better this time, almost no wrinkles, nowhere, I'm very happy. Uh, then I'm making and attaching horns again. Covering them with paper and painting them again one more time. And then I'm finally turning this beautiful chocolate brown yarn into hair and attaching it to the doll's head. Yes, guys, and now it's really perfect. Now she can be different, she can wear her headpiece or she can wear her hair down. Absolutely happy about it, really. Now I am happy. But anyway, you know, I have literally no time left to make and to upload this video. So I quickly attached her lashes, added gloss, painted the nails, and here are finally the end result pictures. So guys, here is finally my second Halloween special doll, 
Two weeks ago, as I mentioned it in the beginning of this video, I made Lydia from Beetlejuice in her iconic red dress and now it's kind of different vibe, a real goth queen in her gothic dress and with this iconic hat piece. I posted this hat piece on Instagram while it was still drying and so many of you have instantly recognized the Maleficent just based on the shape of her horn. So I was so happy she was recognizable. By the way, subscribe to my Instagram, there you can see all the sneak peeks and all like the most recent information. And also, you know, I had really a lot of fun making this hat piece because I really love creating interesting hat pieces for my dolls. Like my goddess Kali doll had an iconic thing on her head as well as Saraswati, another Hindu goddess. Jibaru or Hibaru doll from my last year Halloween specials has also an amazing rolled up scarf with decorations. And now Maleficent joins their club with her horned hat piece. Very beautiful, very happy happy about it. And I'm also very happy I've made the wig for her. It of course makes the entire project much more interesting. First of all, probably for the new doll's owner. By the way, speaking of a new owner, this doll is right now available for sale on eBay. The link you can find in the description box under this video if you want to become the new owner of this doll. And if you feel like discussing this doll with me and with others, you're very welcome to the comments under this video. Please let me know which version of Maleficent you like most. The one with the headpiece or the one with her hair down and the horns. I'm really curious to hear your opinion. So, yeah, and that was it for today, I guess. So, guys, and that was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it today. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes. Of course, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos. And I will see you very soon in my next video, probably the next week, Friday. But it might be in two weeks because, you know, making this week in the very last moment a little bit messed up my schedule. So I might have to skip a week, but I don't know. I will keep you updated on my Instagram, subscribe there. So that was it for today. Have a nice weekend. Love you guys. Bye.